Well, that was a weird one. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is Thorn with the Game Design Lexicon. We are currently playing Colonization, at least for the next 30 minutes or so. Um, what's in this guy over here? What's what's in here? Cotton planters, rum, coats, and horses. Let's see. Cotton planters, rum, coats, and horses. Not that we've been trading a lot with the Indians uh, to our detriment, but at least we got that out of the way. Uh, we got a bunch of troops we need to be spreading out, huh? So let's go move him down here. Also, I can probably turn this guy back into a dragoon since we got 40 horses there. And what do we got here? Three guys there. One guy there. So let's send him over to Plymouth. Thank God troops don't take anything to maintain. That would be a pain in the ass if they did. Noise. Um, we got our farmer finally, so let's send this guy out. Colonist? Yeah, we could send him with some tools, but eh. Because he needs to go to Plymouth. It's probably going to need tools really soon. Eh, I got wagons for that. What the fuck? Okay. What? Two things of coats? I guess we should send that guy back, huh? God damn it. Stupid Dutch pissed me off to no end. Um. Shit. He has a lot of stuff to just kind of bullshit back. Hmm. Nothing yet. Almost, though. Okay, so he has finally has his roads going. Let's, uh, civilize Penobscot now. Definitely need to start getting the artillery going, though. Also, we really need some more Elder Statesmen. What's going on out here? Have we already, I guess we've already found the Pacific Ocean. Okay, into Plymouth. So let's take him out. Colonist. Let's put him in. That's the best one. No, nope, we got an eight. Wait, oh, obviously. On the broadleaf. It's weird, the a farmer, you wouldn't call him like a hunter or something if he was just doing deer and shit. Okay, and then we can send that other guy back for more food, right? Because we're going to need those in the other towns soon enough. Speaking of which, we probably need to start to ramp those guys up. Scars there, furs there. We were gonna do uh, rum there, I think. And then cotton here, no. Oh no, tobacco there. Yeah, duh, tobacco. Shit, I don't know. And we'll figure it out. So we're pretty close to revolting anyway, so... That's a weird bunch of stuff that I don't necessarily need. Oh, coats are down, of course. Ah, uh, none of those... Yeah, I guess I'll take them. What the hell? I definitely don't need the fishermen. I don't have another town that'll actually uh, hold them. Jesus. Guess we'll send some muskets back. Along with some coats. 
We're also out of cotton, apparently. So let's go ahead and throw that guy in the distiller. That's it, right? I guess so. Oh, nice. Dinner's here. Give me a sec. Let me uh, message my sis back. going back. Use him to grab some more people. Since the population is definitely something we desperately need. Probably even used to start another town. Just one more really for just to spread out my production. Though it is getting kind of late. 1626 right now. Drop some tools there. And that guy can go back. Well, I guess I should load him up with something, huh? Oh, there's nothing really there. Yeah, head back. Looks like my uh, automated trade route's actually doing its job now, which is great. Um, what the fuck was he doing? Oh, yeah, heading back to Jamestown to trade as a farmer. Because we need food producers to get these towns to actually grow. So let's put this guy in... Uh, teacher and then this guy back on the farm there we go that'll work and we'll probably do that with most of the uh, people we have just laying around doing nothing nice we need to make sure every one of our cities has at least one artillery in it I think I'm gonna do we have anything better to produce, really? Fort. Yeah, let's do that fort since it is a coastal town. It's going to end up helping us in the long run. Nice, we're getting the rum going. Awesome. What does this guy have? Bullshit. Ah, oh, a load of silver, that's nice. We'll get that guy headed back to England with it soon. have a cannon. My guess is most of these places. Let's see. There we go. Off the Barbados. Probably upset the Indians running, running past them with it. get some of these guys and clear their stuff. We probably could use another uh, actually let me train a uh, carpenter. That way we can have another combo of those guys. That, that certainly is not going to hurt. Okay and these guys got a lumber mill going. That's nice. This guy, this fisherman, we can clear his profession. We have literally no use for him otherwise. Um, and let's go ahead and stick him in here as a farmer. That way he'll just support himself. And we'll get him to learn farming from the guy in the schoolhouse. This guy, on the other hand... Um, hey, the Apache. What the fuck are they doing way out here? Um, we need to send him to a place where he can mine. Not there. Not, well. Oh, we already got a guy there. 
How about, oh, how about Penobscot? Was Penobscot next to a good mine? Oh yeah, it was, wasn't it? That's the whole purpose of putting it there. Let's send that guy to Penobscot. Awesome. Building on up, building on up. Um, what? No, guy, you need to fucking get those on. What's this guy doing? Nothing. Anything to send back? Some silver? Now nah, we'll wait a turn or two. What was this guy doing? Probably needs some more tools distribution, but... Uh, he's gonna need them. Not for a while, though. Eh. We'll do it as needed. Chances are that uh, Pioneer's probably going to have to come back soon. What do we got here? 26, 23. That's far the fuck out there. Okay, go, go, go. Fur trappers, horses, rum, cigars. Okay. Hey, nice. Scouts have become seasoned, which is awesome. It means they're no longer criminals. Not that I have a whole hell of a lot of use for seasoned scouts once I'm done exploring. But they still earn me money and exploration, so I think I'm good with it. Let's see. Nice. Hey, we got another farmer. Fuck yeah. So let's take him, turn him into a colonist, because we're going to send him somewhere else. Move that guy up. Question is, is where are we going to send him? My guess would probably be Plymouth, but I could be wrong. Okay, fur factory. Oh, nice. Plus, we got a full load of horses here. That's nice. I need to send more guns over there. As a matter of fact, I need to just distribute a whole thing of guns everywhere. Um, what else could these guys use? Warehouse expansion for sure. Oh yeah, let's send some guns and tools over there. Nice. He is going to take some tools and some guns over to Plymouth. What else do we got here? Let's see, we can throw some furs and some cigars. Shit. What else do we got? Silver? Nah. We'll wait. Okay. Send this guy back to England. Oh, goddamn French. So that guy's going to Plymouth. Oh shit, looks like we ran into the end of the earth down here. Um, in town. No, no, not you. There, right? No, 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 no. Ore. There we go. Shit, we're probably going to have more ore than we need now. The rest of the stuff that we need to be doing are... Um... We need to start concentrating more on trade stuff. Stuff that'll earn us money. We don't really have a lot of money right now. So where can we use the next combo of... So these guys are actually producing something, so let's send them on to Bar Barbados. Um, you too? Didn't we say Plymouth's probably going to need them? Oh no, Plymouth's doing great as far as food. So let's send them down to Barbados too. They probably counter those uh, uh, carpenter lumberjack combo that I'm sending down there. Oh, okay. 
Pull that manual back out. Military, Francis Drake. Um, increases the combat strengths of all my privateers by 50%. I have one of those. So maybe not. What's the next? Political. Thomas Paine. Let's see. Liberty Bell production in all colonies is produ per increased by the current tax rate. That sounds good. That's, that's my first choice. Trade. See Peter something I can't pronounce the, pronounce that uh, allows construction. Oh shit! Custom house. Hell yeah, dude. Let's do the custom house. It means I won't have to sail shit back and forth all the time. At least not until I'm picking shit up. Why are the Spaniards pissing me off? Okay, do we have anything to ship? No, not yet. Almost. Guns, gun. Oh, yeah. No, unload all cargo. That's good. And I think we're good. Send this guy back to um, Jamestown. Nice. Running out of places to explore, which is always good. Colonist. Put that lumberjack down. Let's go ahead and I'm going to end up changing that guy just as soon as the carpenter gets here, but let's put him over there just in case for now. There we go. Carpenter's here now. So we can take the carpenter and put him in. And then we'll take him and put him in as a farmer, which is funny because the farmer's going to hit there. So now let's drop him as a farmer. And I guess we can send this dude back. Probably make him another farmer. Let's do that. Next turn it is. Coats are almost worthless now. Wonderful. Um. Shit, I don't know what I really need right now. Maybe some firebrand preachers. Let's do that. Else we got here. Do some criminals for now. Let's do another fur trader. I think we could use one more of those guys to even that one town out. Yeah, why not? Oh, nice. Do we have enough shit to send back now? Oh yeah, hell yeah, dude. Rum and uh, silver. I'll get us some more money and get us some more troops and shit. Or people, anyway. What the fuck was this guy doing? Nothing. Fortify him up. And this guy can go back to Jamestown. Need to pick up some more tools. This guy's also going to Jamestown. He's going to learn to be a farmer. Oh, nice. I just need to wait until that other guy gets here, and then I can move the other guy out. Actually, let's go ahead and put him down first. Not that I really need another farmer, but... Oh my god, the fucking rum here. I do not have enough shit to keep up with that. I'm going to need to make a dedicated rum producer. Okay, we're going to put you there in the schoolhouse again. Go ahead and put you back out as a colonist and you in as a farmer. There we go. We can send that farmer off to somewhere else. 
probably Roanoke would be my guess. But I could be wrong. I often am. Okay. What do we got as cheap spares? Yeah, that's typically what I do. Um, especially with my farmers and fishermen. Uh, those guys are usually the first to be trained locally. Um, and then a lot of the times, like some of them I'll try and, like if I don't have one to begin with, then I'll definitely train them up. Like you'll notice now uh, when I go over to my screen for them, I have at least one of each guy. You didn't like that film? Why not? You watched it? That's pretty cool. What would what, what, you find wrong with it? Got nine minutes to talk about it. But as I was saying to Coffee, um, you'll notice that I have at least one of each guy, and I make sure that I do that at the very beginning so I can, uh, tra like you said, train my own guys. That way I can take anybody from the recruit, no matter who they are, clear their specialty, and train them to what I need them as. So, unless, of course, they're indentured servants, or, I mean, you know, people that I can't train. Yeah, if you're broke, it's really good for sure. Ooh, expert farmers. I'll take those guys for sure. Then I'll take these guys and musket them up. Yeah, I got plenty of money, so I'm not really worried. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing a good steady trade every time I'm going back. Nice. I'll at least make sure that I get one of each through uh, either training at, a, in a, um, at an Indian village or getting an expert trained at the... Uh, in, in uh, Europe, so, and once I get one of each, then I'll more consider training them locally if I can, unless I just need them instantly, or if they're sitting on the dock, you know. <laughs> you thought it was boring? We're weird. Well, each to their own, I guess. Okay, got a preacher here. I don't think, uh... I don't think this town can support him until we get that farmer train. Eh, we'll just leave him there anyway. We got plenty of food. What else do we got here? What is this guy? Oh, a fur trader. Oh, yeah, we need to send that guy out somewhere. And we got another farmer that we need to send out somewhere. I don't know where we're going to send the farmer, though. Oh, yeah, Roanoke. That's right. Oh, yeah, we definitely need a farmer over in Roanoke. What the fuck is Roanoke doing, by the way? We got a cotton planter there. Oh, no, that's not a cotton plant. Oh, is he? Cotton planter? And a sugar planter. I guess we'll send a uh, farmer over there so we can actually have that guy plant cotton. Should be nice. It is, it is, it paces really slow, but, I mean, the cinematography is excellent. Um, like I said, I, I believe, uh, myself anyway, that I like the way that the story rotates. You have, you know, the beginning, which is bleak and depressing, and then you have them go through all of this adventure that um, is kind of like a tug-of-war back and forth, until um, eventually, at the very end, um, you have, you know, them back in the same bleak situation that they started off in, if only just slightly different. But, you know, again... I can't think of any pirate movie that I like better than it. As a matter of fact, I don't really think there's that many good uh, pirate movies out there. About the only other really good pirate movie I can think of is a pirate movie called Nathan Hayes, which is really good. Um, but, uh, shit, I haven't seen that one forever. I need to mark that one down, actually. I need to uh, see if I can find it somewhere. Okay. Give me a second. Let me write that down before I forget. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hip on pirate movies because they're really rare. Uh, you don't find good pirate movies very often. Okay, what do I have to trade? Nothing? I guess that guy can wait. Dude, and the one, the, the part where they're trying to get that, that, uh, throne on the, on the, on the skiff out of that harbor and... They, and rather than leaning it back, they put it up on the tra chain and get trapped on the chain. Fucking cracked me up so bad. I was laughing my ass off when, like, the Spaniards found them out there just sitting on the chain. 
That was some funny stuff, dude. Okay, that's going to need 100 tools, so I better just fortify those guys for now. And these guys are fur traders, so they need to go to Plymouth. And I'm going to go ahead and throw those in the fur trader house. And uh, once they get out of fur, I'll go ahead and put that fur trapper back down. Maybe? Oh shit, that's going to take seconds. I might as well put that trapper down now. Done and done. Okay. Price of coats has gone up. Oh god. Navigation Act. Great. Yay! What else we got here? Fortress? That's gonna be a while. Arsenal? Probably. Shipyard? Probably. Let's go ahead and pop out another artillery. Yeah, and one of my one of my favorite characters in that was the unfortunately the one guy that that they meet who's worthy of like being a, a like the only like true person they find that that's loyal to them that uh, the one black guy Bumaku um, he was like one of the best characters in that movie especially when he died is like oh Bumaku did and then he's over anyway no don't attack the Tupi what the fuck are you doing okay what do we got here. 2833. Okay, let me mark that one down. 2833. Probably never going to trade with them, but we might as well. Fur trappers, horses, rum, cigars. That's exactly the same as the last one. Well, at least the two P are consistent. Uh, we needed food producers here. I guess that's why we sent this dude over. Farmer. And we got cotton. Nice. That'll help. So we need to get rum and... Uh, shit, we should put both of those industries here. Roanoke should be both rum and... Uh, well, I hate having two industries in one city, but we'll see. We should at least move one of them over here as soon as we can. Okay. Looks like we got two guys there. Two guys there. Two guys there. Um. Nope, too far. Let's see, one guy there, so probably Roanoke. Shit, we should probably actually send him to Penobscot. Oh my god, what the fuck are Netherlands doing? Get the hell out of my land, you dip. Another farmer. Um, let's go ahead and send him to. Just got a farmer out there. I'm sure Barbados just got one. Yep. So we're good there. So I guess this guy goes to Penobscot too. It's not going to be long before we need another uh, town going. Okay. What we got here? Shit, we're almost ready for another shipment to England. And that'll get us another couple guys. So there we go. Here is it 1631? Okay, warehouse expansion. That's nice, finally. That'll help with the burgeoning fur industry going here. Um, what else can we use? I guess schoolhouse. We don't need an armory. Probably need that fort soon. But let's uh, exit 
And we got a ooh, we got a farmer going in. Well, let's stick that farmer out there. We are almost done. Uh, this is uh, Thorn with the Game Design Lexicon. We are playing Colonization. I think we're done for the day. If you do enjoy our content, make sure you give us a follow here on Twitch. Or if you'd like to su subscribe to our stuff over on YouTube, we do have all of our content over there after the fact, so you can watch it um, after it's broadcast here. Usually about a week after we do it over here. Um, if you have any comments, uh, by all means, you can leave them over on YouTube or you can join our Discord. Uh, we're always open for conversations about games, music, uh, politics, you name it. Uh, neurodivergency, what the hell ever. Um, that's about it. I thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with Black Mesa, noon p.m. Central Standard Time. Black Mesa is the Half-Life remake in the Source engine. Have a wonderful day.